After dark, one of Africa's most powerful excavators is at large. The aardvark is the only creature that can dig its way into massive termite mounds. Against its sturdy claws, the insect's earthen defences are no match. Once breached, the aardvark licks up his tiny prey. Under the veil of darkness, a young waterbark on its way to the river walked straight into the lioness's ambush. Hyenas, the lion's eternal rivals, are quickly on the scene. Attracted by the sound of the kill and the smell of the freshly opened carcass, the hyenas hope to take over the lion's feast. Their wailing chorus attracts reinforcements. When the rest of the clan turn up, the hyenas stand a chance of seeing off the lioness. But not yet. attracted by the commotion. His mother is still supporting him. She kills for both of them. Even with 20 hyenas lurking in the darkness, the lions are unwilling to sacrifice their night's work. Hyenas are nothing if not patient. At the termite mound, the aardvark has finished his meal. And as it returns to its burrow, work begins on repairing the broken walls. The termites plug the holes with pellets of moist clay which set as hard as concrete. The job will never be completed by sunrise. The aardvark made too much damage. By dawn, the hyenas are still hanging on. The lions are irritated by their presence, and the young male asserts his authority by provocatively placing his strong-smelling dung among them, a warning that he rules here. The hyenas think otherwise. A dominant female destroys the lion's pungent pile and overlays it with her own sharp scent. It's an insult the lions cannot ignore. So far, the hyena's vigil hasn't paid off, but sooner or later their patience might be rewarded with the lion's leftovers, a few pieces of skin and bone. Oh. 
At sunrise, many animals are active before it becomes too hot. The baboons are now on meager rations and have already discovered the damaged termite mound. As some of the tiny insects are still visible, they fall prey to the baboon's nimble fingers. Feeding on titbits is hard work. However, the exposed termites are in much greater peril from much smaller foes, Matabele ants. Alerted by their scouts, a column of these savage ants emerge from their nest and weave their way through the African bush. Although termites in their sealed nests are in no danger from these predatory insects, when they're exposed, they're easy prey. Against battalions of aggressive ants, even the well-armed soldier termites are overwhelmed. As the death toll mounts, the slaughtered termites are temporarily stockpiled behind the battlefront, leaving the warrior ants free to return to the fray. The outcome of the conflict is inevitable. Soon the victorious Matabele ants carry jaw loads of their victims back to the nest where their queen and grubs reside. After several months, Mana continues to bake beneath the scorching sun.